Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of my absolute favorite products for the month of September. So if you are interested in seeing my picks, then just keep watching. So I feel like I explain this in every video, but what's one more time, right? I do not have the opportunity of wearing a full face makeup that often, really just only on the weekends. It's been kind of hard to pick out some favorites when it's very rare that I'm actually like wearing a full face of makeup. But sure enough, with all of the releases, I definitely picked out some stuff. The majority are eyeshadow palettes. I feel like this was a really fun month for eyeshadow palettes for me. I'll start off with the eyeshadow palettes. How about that? Since there's more of that than any other category. So the first one I'm just going to talk about what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. And honestly, this should be no surprise to you that it's in my favorite. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership Midnight Sun. This is her newest Mothership palette that released this month. She has since come out with two other quads. This is the new full-size baby. And I do have a full review and tutorial using this palette so I would definitely recommend you check that out. I did a look featuring this purple and it was like one of my favorite looks ever. So beautiful. This is the eyeshadow palette that I wore today. I just used this quad right here and as you can see it's a very work-friendly palette. Obviously I'm wearing like crazy lashes but the colors on my eyes themselves are really neutral so I stuck with a really neutral look today but I'm loving this palette I think this is one of her more work-friendly kind of neutral wearable palettes and of course the quality is spectacular you have four of her amazing formula and then over here you just have a really wearable palette so this was definitely a hit for me and exciting news so this was actually sent to me from Pat McGrath so I did buy my own and I reviewed it and I talked about how two of the eyeshadows were actually coming out and the team did reach out to me and they sent me a brand new palette they gifted me some other stuff as well so that was definitely the highlight of my month I cannot believe the Pat McGrath team watched my video and they reached out to me so this is like a super extra special palette to me so really been loving this this month the next one again should not be another surprise to you and I definitely think it's going to be in a lot of other people's favorites this month the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette I mean this is a good one such a hit from Natasha and this it is fall now okay it was 94 in Maryland today so it didn't feel like fall but it is fall now and this is such an amazing fall palette I'm so excited to bring this out even more and the quality of this is just spectacular true Natasha Denona formula the formula that made her famous every single shadow in here is amazing like there is no dud in this palette it's a great value for Natasha Denona and you just get so many colors and it's just so beautiful and so definitely have been loving this I have grabbed for this a lot this month just because of how wearable the colors are but also how great I know it's going to work for the day next palette I was not expecting to love as much as I did and I did have to give it a shout out here the ABH Norvina volume 1 I know since then there has been two other Norvina palettes that were released. I do have them. I have not played with them yet, but if they are up to the quality of this palette, I'm going to love them. If you watched the video I did, I did three tutorials using this palette, and I was amazed at how amazing the quality of these shadows were. They were super duper pigmented, like the ABH pigmentation that they're known for. They weren't patchy. They weren't hard to blend. These were just amazing quality like better than her normal palettes if you ask me the colors were just so vivid on your eyes and the looks that I created I was in love with I just really love this palette I particularly love the shimmers I think the shimmers in here are amazing as well just everything about this palette I really love except for the layout but that's a whole other story but I love this palette I think it's wonderful and I hope the other two palettes are like this one I've just been obsessed with this palette this month and it was very unexpected moving on this is the last eye shadow palette and this is from Kaleidos. Now if you don't know Kaleidos, they are an indie brand. Oh my gosh, their stuff is so good. I every now and then will feature their palettes on my Instagram because you can create such gorgeous looks with their palettes. So they recently came out with a collection of their Futurism palettes so they added two more to the line. This is one of them. There's another one that's really beautiful and blue. Let me sh just show you. So this one is another one which I honestly have not yet tried 
tried. I plan on it and it's stunning. I can definitely see this being in my favorites next month if it lives up to what I hope it will. The one I've been loving this month is the Kaleidos Futurism VR Neon and this is what it looks like. So it's a little bit of a more crazy color scheme obviously neon colors but what really stood out to me about this palette was these shimmers right here they're like a diamond formula this is new for the brand and their shimmers were already killer but these shimmers are spectacular <gasps> do you guys see that so this orange in particular is one of my favorites obviously on camera it's not doing it justice it is so beautiful so for <laughs> the shimmer formulas alone i'd recommend this palette i don't think the mattes are the best in the world but the shimmers are what make it and also it has like a very pat mcgrathy vibe really cute packaging i love how this is slim this is a really great brand and i want to help participate in their growth as a company so i definitely recommend that you do as well these are very affordable i will put the price right here and it's just a great brand with great people behind them so i can't wait to play with the other palette uh, so keep an eye out on my instagram for a look featuring that palette but so that's all we have for eyeshadow palettes let's move on i have a powder foundation that i've been loving i wear powder foundation monday through friday because it's a lot lighter on my skin and honestly my skin itself has gotten a lot more clear because I've been wearing just powder foundation so there's a lot less things to clog my pores on my face because I'm wearing powder foundation my skin has really cleared up so much more I do have a small breakout right now but for the most part my skin has improved so if you wear makeup every day I would definitely suggest you try out powder foundation if your skin breaks out easily this is the makeup forever matte velvet skin you guys recommended this to me because I did actually do a powder foundation routine and this had been on my list for a long time and so many of you commented to try it out so I did and it is amazing so this is in the shade r330 that's my shade i just really love it it's not super full coverage but it is a medium coverage and you can build it up depending on what you use to apply the foundation i use the esam x57 it's like this little kabuki-ish brush this doesn't give you full full coverage with the powder foundation but it gives me just enough coverage so that my skin just looks more clear and even so i've been loving this it lasts a really long time as well i've always been worried about powder foundations just not lasting as long this one does a really nice job I'm out in the Sun for almost eight hours a day because I take my classes outside and I'm walking I'm sweating and this lasts very well it's beautiful on the skin and what I like about this more than my other foundations is I feel like it doesn't catch on to dry patches even though it's a powder it just looks very moisturizing on the skin and just like velvet honestly so this is a great powder foundation I know so many of you already know but I just wanted to let you know you were right so for lips, these were in my favorites last month, but I have to carry them over to this month because literally these are all I've been wearing on my lips. And this is from the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick Collection. So she came out with a new lipstick collection full of nudes. I have a full video on it, swatching every single color that I have. Honestly, these are one of the best formula lipsticks. They're super comfortable on the lips, moisturizing, and the best colors. So so right now on my lips I'm wearing Claudia my ultimate favorite is Natasha it's just my favorite nude for super bold looks which is what I wear often for my Instagram Natasha has been my go-to nude color and then I also really like Noah Noah is a kind of deeper taupey brown it's not too dark for my skin tone this would look great on medium skin tones as well but it's like a deep nude on me and I really love it so Noah and Natasha are my favorite but all of them are wonderful definitely check out my video so you can see how the colors look the one thing I don't love about these lipsticks and it's like also I love it as well <laughs> but they're almost too creamy it actually makes keeping the lipstick in good condition difficult so for example Natasha I swatched it on my arm kind of not all the way out it was out further than it should have been but most lipsticks could have handled it and I swatched it and it just snapped off so I have this broken lipstick and then if like you live in a slightly warm house they'll kind of melt and become really soft so just be aware of that but these are like my favorite lipsticks I love them so the last makeup product that I have to talk about with you guys is 
a lip gloss that I've been loving and these are the Chanel lip glosses now I don't own a lot from Chanel because it's Chanel one night I was bored you know how that happens sometimes and I ordered some Chanel lip glosses but oh my gosh, you guys, they are so good. So the two colors I have, this one is 722, which is more of like a neutral color. And then 726 is this really baby pink. And I just love the texture of these. So I'm wearing 722 right now, which is that darker color. And uh, it just feels so moisturizing on the lips. It's so smooth, but not sticky. But it's also thick but not too thick. It's just a perfect in-between of any gloss. It lasts a decent time. It's not too thin because lip glosses that are too thin, they don't last long, but it's not too thick to where my lips stick together. So it's the perfect consistency, a gorgeous shine, and it really kind of eliminates the lines on my lips. This, in combination with the Natasha Denona formula, has just made my lips look so smooth. You don't really see the line. And I know I'm young, but for more mature women, I think you are going to really like this gloss formula because it just kind of glid over the lips and smoothed them. This is 722. Let me show you. Just so you can kind of see that color there really pretty sheer but still has that color and then 726 this beautiful baby pink it's kind of a clear color but this is really nice in the center of a lip or on top of like any light nude color i think is really beautiful the formula on these guys are so nice and i know i have a lot of subscribers who love chanel makeup so these glosses are so good i don't really talk about perfumes too much on my channel but whoo I need to mention this to you guys. I'm going to butcher this. I'm not fancy enough to pronounce this, but this is the Baccarat Rouge 540 Perfume. Okay, the reason I don't know anything about this, or really even what it's called, is because I've been sealing this for my mom. My mom has great taste in luxury beauty. That's where I get it from. That's why I am the way that I am. The reason that my mom purchased it is because we loved the smell of the Patrick Ta body oil. It's just so good. And I had saw in a Kathleen Lights video that she said this perfume smelled exactly like this. I told my mom about it and she got a sample and her and I were floored at how amazing this smelled because it smells exactly like the Patrick Ta but better because it's a perfume so it actually lasts on the skin. The scent here doesn't last very long so if you like that Patrick Ta scent this is it but better. There's something really special about the perfume in that the scent lingers in the room that you're in and it's not overpowering it just smells really good. I'll put the notes right here because I'm not going to describe the scent for you other than it's amazing but it sits beautifully on the skin but it smells even better in the room. So if you're in the room and you walk in the room smells delightful. I don't know. I just have never had a perfume that did that. And amazing. Even though this is not mine, I love it. And I wanted to talk about it with you guys. I would definitely recommend you go to a store and get a sample of it. She's not cheap. Let's, let's look it up. $300. It smells really good though. Last thing I want to talk about with you guys is about some jewelry. And you guys know I love jewelry. I spend so much money on makeup though. I'm not into fine jewelry. <laughs> I'm into just fun, pretty costume jewelry from like Forever 21. Bobble Bar is one of my favorite places to get it from. Nordstrom Rack. Things like that. So a few months ago, I got into the CO jewelry subscription box. And I was very tentative about it at first because it is still $50 a month. And you don't really know what you're getting because it's a subscription box and I've loved more months way better than others some months I was kind of disappointed and I was like it wasn't worth my $50 but this month's was so good so the way that it works is it comes in this beautiful box and then theme this month was September bling and they'll come in each individual CO boxes so this is $50 I'll put in this month we got these beautiful hoop earrings this stunning necklace this really gorgeous bracelet and what I like about this bracelet is I have extremely tiny wrists like bracelets don't ever fit me and this is an adjustable size so it will fit like any wrist you guys see my watch tan <laughs> I wear an Apple Watch for my job every day, and I'm starting to get a tan. 
so beautiful. You also, in this box, you got a ring, I believe. I don't know where I put it. I don't know why I didn't wear that today. And then some tiny little blingy studs as well that are somewhere in my room. I was going to stop subscribing soon, but after this month, I, I mean, this box was amazing. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys. If you are interested in where I get my jewelry from, I've been wearing the CO jewelry a lot and it's really cute. I'm really liking it. Did want to talk about that because I've been liking that. That's all I have for today's video. I know I usually end with like my favorite channel of the month and I just gotta be straight up honest with you guys. I have not watched any videos this month. I have been so busy. Any time that I have, I either spend it relaxing and recalibrating or working on my YouTube for you guys. I don't even have time to answer comments anymore. So I definitely don't have time to watch videos. Hopefully things will slow down in the month of October. I'm not a big October person. I don't care for Halloween. But anyway, September was a very important month in my life. I started teaching September 1st, my very own students, and it's been chaotic. It's been stressful. I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting better every day. <laughs> I think I am anyways. anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your favorite products for this month down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.